Hey guys, do you believe in fairy tales? You know, I do. I do believe in fairy tales, but even so, it took me a real long, long, long time to jump aboard the derma rolling enthusiast. I really, I mean, a real long time before I made that leap. When I thought about it, derma rolling, and I, I kept thinking about it, how in the world could poking holes in my skin actually turn back the clock or maybe stall the clock or make me look better? I just, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. But, oh my gosh, was I ever, ever wrong. This is gonna be a super informative collab. This is actually a collaboration with Natalie the Beauty Diva, and you could probably tell by the thumbnail. Natalie has actually been derma rolling for three years, and I've been derma rolling only for six months. So we, we were chatting about doing a collab. We've done a few collabs, and I've enjoyed every single one of them with Natalie because she is just one of those amazingly true beautiful people both inside and outside you know and not that there are not other ladies on youtube as giving as natalie but natalie has always gone out of her way to be supportive especially to smaller channels and that's me guys you know a smaller channel and she's gone out of her way so i think when natalie gives she gives 100% of herself. Not only is she a giving person here on YouTube, but she's also an extremely giving person in her personal life. She gives to many organizations. She supports many people. And she's just tr truly amazing. So when we started chatting about doing a derma rolling collab, I was like all aboard. I said, yes, 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 this sounds awesome. We said, you know, derma rolling, when you think about derma rolling, it's like, Derma rolling, the reason why you derma roll is maybe you want to achieve what you've heard other people have achieved, a much more youthful, radiant skin. So it made sense for us, especially for me, being a newbie to derma rolling, to really talk and share with you all about some of the things that I've done or the mistakes that I've made in my derma rolling journey. And I am like so super excited about watching her video. I will link her video below in the description box. So I can't wait to watch her video. Before I actually begin, I have to give you a disclaimer of sorts. I think it's crucial, crucial, that every single one of you do your own research. And I know I've said that in the past, and I know many, many other creators have said that as well. But whenever you try a new product or you do something new to your skin, you need to really research it because if something's working for me, it may not necessarily mean it's going to work for you. And derma rolling, just like Retin-A, um, derma rolling is to me the big guns. And you really need to think about how to do it and what to do. And even if you want to do it, there's pros and cons. There's pros and cons. So, you know, before I actually jumped on board for derma rolling, I had gone to my dermatologist. Many of you know I had a cancer issue on my face and was removed. And so I monitored and screened very carefully for reoccurring skin cancer issues. Um, and anyway, so when I went to my dermatologist, he had subscribed the Retin-A. And this last time around, I told him I wanted to do derma rolling. Well, of course, they tout the in-office stuff, but I did talk to him about derma rolling. And he said, if you do it at home and you sanitize, 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 and you use, you know, don't scrimp on the equipment that you use. And he said the same thing, you know, sanitize your equipment, use good skin care afterwards, be very, very careful that you don't go gung-ho. So he, he was in favor of it. He was not negative about it at all. So I was really happy about that. You know, that's my disclaimer. I've been doing it for six months now. I am definitely 100% all in. I am like all in. And yes, I do believe in fairy tales. Do I believe derma rolling has turned back the clock on me? No. Uh, I do believe it's helped slow the clock down and I do believe that it can also be a combination of my Retin-A and all the other skincare items that I'm using in conjunction with the derma rolling which I believe helps those products that I am using sink into my skin deeper, work faster, turn my skin over faster. I believe that the derma roller in conjunctions with the serums, in conjunctions with how I'm using it is what's making the difference to my skin. Let's talk about 
derma rollers. Let's talk about the equipment because you know right now I'm going to tell you you need to sanitize whatever you're using. I sanitize, and you can use whatever your comfort zone is, but I sanitize with rubbing alcohol, 91%. On the nights that I derma roll, I take a glass or I take a tub and I soak my derma roll completely in the solution. I let it sit in the solution for an easy 20 minutes, sometimes longer. That was the one thing that my dermatologist really touted. And the next thing that, and this is I did not know, not all derma rollers are created equally. There are derma rollers and there are derma rollers. So when you, and I'm gonna put some channels below because I was alerted to this biased subscriber who told me I needed to check out this video that a fellow content creator had done. Her name is Jen, Jen Amber. And I did, and then so when I was watching her video about the differences between derma rolling, I also talked to other people and I also did a little bit more research on my own. And you know what, there is a difference. Some derma rollers are just simply metal discs put together and some derma rollers are actually medical grade needles. So in the beginning, my very first derma roller that I bought was a 540 needle titanium derma roller, which at that time, everybody was saying you had to get. Well, in hindsight, more is not better. The 540, derma roller that I have, and I still have it here, that I bought originally. I bought it in, the, in two sizes, the 0.25 and the 0.50. Those are the two sizes that I bought. Well, I'm gonna try to hold this up to you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. This really, I mean, if you look at it, there's little tiny discs in there. And I'm not gonna take this apart, but there is no way that those are deep at all. So I did, the 540 and then I knew because everyone said well you know what you're gonna have to you know upgrade and all that and at the same time I was watching the videos comparing the needles I also then ordered from Timeless I got uh, my second set of derma rollers and I, I ordered from Timeless because they had the 50% off and I did the 0 0.50 and, the, and the, the one from Timeless their, their derma roller so when I first used the derma roller from Timeless it was like night and day. The Timeless Derma Roller has 192 needles or discs or whatever. I have not taken it apart. It was like night and day. And what I did with this, when I used it, I could only go one way because I found the actual physical roller to be hard to turn. I don't know whether it's just this one or what, but the actual physical roller is hard to turn. And it's almost, I can do it, I can go back and Forth, but it, it has a little bit of a friction point and it just could be maybe this mechanism I really don't know but compared to my other one that I got that rolls like you hear it rolls like crazy rolls really easy this rolled really hard and it rolled really deep when the first time I used it I actually drew blood in areas so I had ordered the timeless and then I had been talking to Jen Amber I had been watching the videos and I was really interested because she touts 192 needles, which the Timeless one is, as well as opposed to the 540. Again, in the beginning, I didn't really know there was a difference, right? My dermatologist never told me that there was a difference in how many needles. So I have hers. And it's so smooth. But these needles are... I don't know if you can see them. This is Jen Amber's. These needles are... I mean, they're, they're medical grade needles. This is my one from Timeless. They're almost identical looking, but they're not. They're really not. This one does not move as easy at all as this one does. This moves really nice, glides really nice. I have two of the Timeless ones. Both of them are hotter for me to glide. So I don't know why, I have no idea. I'm not doing a comparison for the derma rollers. My purpose in mentioning this is that they're not all created equal. If you don't mind, you know, and maybe this is a great way to start, 540. It's like it, it turned me beet red, but maybe it was a great way for me to get used to derma rolling, I don't know. But when I went to the 192 needle derma roller, I could not believe the difference in my skin. Yeah, not that I was looking to draw blood, but yes, I did. It did draw blood in a few spots, but I turned beet red. I, I was like, 
it, it, I'm going to get numbing cream, to be honest with you, because that's that's how much I really knew I was doing it. So do your research. I'm going to link a couple of videos that I've been watching, and I'm going to link Ginny Amber's channel for you below. She does sell her own, and it's she actually has her name on it, which I, I think is pretty cool because none of the others really have that I've seen their name stamped on them. Um, but she has, actually has her name, and I love how this one glides. So a derma roller, I spend, depending on what you're going to buy, you know, you can you can buy some really good ones. Um, I think Tammy from Uppies Beads has talked about how her derma roller costs her about $30. Well, that's about what this costs. This is $29. I think Jen Amber has a coupon on her website. I'm not too sure. But your equipment is going to be important, and not all equipment is equal. I cannot stress that enough. So you need to do your own research more so than I did in the beginning. So when I do my derma rolling, I'm going to, I typically will take my square band and I'll take all my hair off my face. I triple cleanse my face. Oftentimes I will use my Body Mary glycolic acid. I will link this in the description box. I, and this is pretty beat up because I use this the majority of the time. This is my CeraVe hydrating cleanser. I really like this a lot. This is my second or third one of this that I've gone through and I need to buy another one. So I really like that a lot. And the other cleanser that I use periodically when I can find it is the Anadu Naturals. It is a, a fruit stem cell milk cleanser. I get this at TG Maxx. It doesn't really matter what you use to cleanse your face. You have to make sure all the residue, everything is off from eyelashes to skin because you're sanitizing with the rubbing alcohol, you're sanitizing your derma roller. You also want to make sure that your skin is completely clean. And on my derma rolling night after I clean, I use my toner as a way for me to really see what's left on my skin. So I will either use, and I really like the Thayer's Witch Hazel, this is a rose petal alcohol free. I like to use that. And also because Pride and Beauty had talked about her Korean skincare in her video and I'll link that video as well. I am enjoying this Clears. This is a Korean skincare. I got it off of Amazon. I am enjoying this toner a lot. So after I've cleansed my skin, whoops, I go through with a toner and I put that all over and then I look at the cotton um, or the round that I'm using and I look to make sure if there's still something on there then I'm going to go back and clean again. Yeah, only because I'm like really nervous about that. So then after I have cleaned totally sanitized derma roller, I take it out of my alcohol where it was soaking. I usually just run it under the under the tap and I, I just wiggle it. My hair is pulled back. And now I'm going to crisscross. Everyone is going to do this differently. I usually start on this side of my face. I do try to pull a taunt and I go as close to my eye as possible. And I'm going to go one way. With this derma roller, I can go back and forth. With the one from Timeless, it's too hard for me. It's almost like I have to push too hard to get it to move. So with the one from Timeless, I'm just going and lifting it up and going up. And I usually go five times one way and then I go down the next patch. With this, I'm probably do six because I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I move down one. And I'm not, you know, I'm just making sure. And I go from the edge to the edge, to the edge of my lip, and I go down. And I'm going to follow this pattern all the way down to my face, coming over my ugly line here. And then when I'm finished with that, you can do however many you want, but I'm going to do four passes so that it's like a crisscross effect on each section of my face, and then I do the next section. The hardest part for me is my forehead and my upper lip. Th that's the hardest, in my nose. And when I'm doing my upper lip, I'm usually just doing the lip part. I'm going in there, and it hurts like anything. That's a real sensitive area for me. I'm going to go back and forth, and I try to do the exact same thing. Sometimes in the middle, depending on like if I have any blood specks or anything, I'll go back in and dip it in alcohol and clean it off again and then rinse it. Then I do my forehead last because my forehead and my nose I hate and I do the same thing. And I usually just do the same thing up and down, up and down like that. And then I try to do my nose. My nose is hard. When I do my nose, I try to go from the bottom up, back and forth, back and forth so that I'm getting this 
and then this way. It's very difficult. I will tell you on my nose, I don't do as many passes. I don't do six each side. It's just really too hard for me. By the time I've done that, I, t I try to take my time with it. It's not running a marathon. I rinse it back off. I stick it back in my alcohol tub. So normally I will do my hair at the same time because I've taken my shower, etc. I've got my hair pulled back. So if I want to derma roll my hair, I let it soak for a little bit longer and I start to do the rest of my skincare with the idea that I'm gonna derma roll my hair last. So then I do the rest of my skincare. I normally take a sheet mask and, and I have a couple of different masks that I use, but I try to take a hydrating, anti-aging, a uh, mask with peptides in it if at all possible. I really like that. I will put that on my skin for 20 minutes. By the time that 20 minutes is up, I come back in the bathroom. My derma roller has pretty well soaked again nicely. But I take my mask off and I rub it in. Then I take my hair and I part it in the sections of my hair that I want to roll. And my hair, I just roll one way. It's not like I'm crisscrossing. And my whole goal is for my hair. I'm not rolling my entire scalp. I'm rolling the sections where I am light, usually right around here, this part. And then when I've done that, I put the derma roller back in, and then I will take my hair serum, and I put serum on my hair, rub it in, and I can usually feel it, and I put my square band headband, pull my hair back off my face. Now I'm ready for my face serums. And I'm sorry, I know this is wicked long. I use my 2% my advanced retinol serum from, from The Ordinary. And I put that, I rub it into my skin, pat it in, let it dry. This is really good for after derma rolling. I really, really like it. I let that dry into my skin. Next for me, and it might be five minutes, it might be 10 minutes, it all depends. Next, I take my niacinamide. I use niacinamide from The Ordinary and I focus on my larger pore areas, my nose, some of the pores on my forehead, and my chin, and I put that on there. I let that soak in, and then I'm making a decision. Am I gonna use the Ordinary Buffet, which I really, really like, or am I going to use the Timeless Sync 6, Patrixel with Sync 6, which I really like. These are the two serums I'm currently using and alternating, depending on my mood, which one I grab. I have been grabbing the Ordinary's Buffet more. And then I take that and I'm very generous. I put a number of drops in my hands, I pat it and I go all around my near my eyes, underneath, my upper lip, my lips. I put it all in my lips. I've derma rolled my lips. I go all around my face. I let that sink into my skin. I am going to be ordering the Hyalamide anti-aging or I think it's anti-aging what is it called hold on I'll take a look and I haven't ordered it yet because it's um I I have so much of the buffet and I have so much of the matrixel sync six and you know the price difference the buffet I think is I want to say $14.99 for the for the buffet from the ordinary my matrixel sync six is $24.99 and the Hylamide that I want to, it's Hylamide Sub-Q Anti-Age Serum. That sounds like it is awesome. And I think I want to buy that just to use after drum rolling. But that's $38 for a little bottle of it. So I have not done that yet, although I really want to. Then after I've applied that last serum, I am going to take a little bit, and this is very, very new to my regimen. I have not been using this a lot, so I really can't tell you, you know, how it is. But I love, so far anyways, the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. This is pricey, pricey cream. But like the Timeless products, It Cosmetics frequently has a sale, or I get this through Sephora, and you can have it. But I take this secret, this is the secret sauce, this is a cream. I use very little of this cream, but I take it and I tap it around my eyes, my crow's feet, up into here, and around my upper lip. My upper lip is horrible aging for me, horrible. I, I've smoked and I have my smoker lines I wanna get rid of. So I tap it there. When that dries, I top it all off with an oil, a face oil. More often than not, I'm using my marula oil from The Ordinary, or I'm using the squirreline either from Timeless 
or from the ordinary. I have one from each of them. The squalene oil is lighter. It is not quite as thick feeling as the marula. But when I put the marula on after derma rolling, I feel like my skin is like totally protected. The one thing that I have noticed with derma rolling is that whenever I derma roll, and I have to plan it accordingly, but whenever I derma roll, my skin is gonna turn over amazingly amount. Like I still peel and flake from my Retin-A use, but after my derma roll, I peel and flake like crazy, no matter what I do. And I'm okay with that. It's like, yes, I believe the derma rolling is making all of my skincare sink in quicker. My collagen production, all of that stuff, I believe the derma rolling is helping along move that path faster and that means my skin is turning over with peeling and flaking so i plan my if i knew that it was going to a real important event and i had to have a lot of up close and personal time with people <laughs> i probably would in derma roll two days before because typically it's two days after i derma roll that and sometimes three that the flakes are like whoa baby you know unbelievable but that's basically what i do and and I love it. I really do. I love it. I can't believe that I am actually enjoying poking holes in my face. Yes, I believe in fairy tales. And my life hasn't been charmed. Um, I've had my ups and downs. Uh, we all have had our challenges. I've had mine. But life, to me, derma rolling and the skincare and everything else that I've been doing to take care of my skin is that thing that you hear about aging gracefully. It helps me feel better about my skin, about the condition of my skin, and I feel that I'm aging gracefully. I'm going to be 64 in February. My gosh. And uh, I wish I'd started all of this sooner. I really do, but I didn't. So that is sort of my my version of my 101 derma rolling, six months into it. Natalie is three years into it, and I cannot wait to watch her video. So if you've made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I know this is super, super long, but I hope it was helpful. I think we're all in the mature community on the same journey. Yes, we cannot completely stop Mother Nature. We are all going to get old. We are all going to have issues and illnesses and deal with stuff. But if we can do it, a little bit better, a little bit easier, or if we can slow it down, why not? I'm, I'm all for that. And because people always ask, what do I have on my face? I thought I would end this video with just a, a brief little description on what I actually have on my face. My sunblock is a, a given. I wear that every day. But my foundation that I have on today is my number seven Lift and Luminate. You've heard me mention this numerous times. I absolutely love it. The blush that I'm wearing is a very old, I don't even know what the shade is, but it's a very old Avon blush that I've had forever. As far as trying to, trying to touch up my veins and all that, I have the It Cosmetic Bye Bye Redness. So I put that on on my nose and then my foundation over it, obviously. And then on my lips, I do want to mention my lips because I'm really, really happy with this. I have on, um, this This is an Avon lip liner that I've had forever. I'm going to have to talk to Julie Smith to see if I can find these again. I've, I bought these a long time ago. The, I think they're the glimmer sticks or whatever. This is my lip liner. And then for my lipstick, I have the Rimmel number no. 45. This is a longtime favorite of mine. It's very nice nude. I really, really like it. And my lip gloss that I have on, this is from Gerard Cosmetic. This was actually sent to me from the Octoly website, free of charge for in exchange for my unbiased opinion. So I received this, I don't know, maybe about a week and a half ago or so, and I'm really into lip gloss, as many as you know, and I, I tried this out. It's kind of clearish pink. To me, it at least smells like cinnamon, which I happen to love. I absolutely, I must tell you, I, ac I actually am enjoying this lip plumper a lot. Now I use my Buxom Lip Plumper most days and also the Hard Candy. I love them. But this was sent to me and it 
when I say send to me, the nice thing about the Aquiline website is you can actually pick the products that you might want to try. And so this was something I was interested in picking and they sent it to me. And I actually like it. I don't know how it looks. Let's see my little trusty mirror. I'll try not to blind you guys. But yeah, I do like how it looks an awful lot. So that is my lip plumper and that is pretty well everything that I have. Oh, except my eyes. I'm wearing my Rimmel Scandal Eye Black Eyeliner and I have my eyeshadow is my Rise Art. This is my favorite one. This is the Amethyst one. It has all the little purple shades and all that. I really, really am enjoying it a lot. So that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. Everyone always asks, and I always forget to say, and then I have to stop and think, and I'm going afterwards, what did I have on? What did I have on? So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the derma rolling made sense to you. And again, I just want to, in closing, just remind you all that you need to do your own research. You need to feel comfortable with whatever you're going to use on your face, whether it's skincare, whether it's makeup, Everyone's skin is different. Everyone reacts differently. And there are some. these are some of the things that I wish I had known before I started derma rolling. So hopefully this was helpful. Please make sure you check out Natalie's video and check out some of the links in my description box. I think you'll find it very informative. Thank you all so much, guys. Have a great day, and I will see you next time.